Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel for a video that I'm so excited for because today we are doing kind of another focused vlog where it's casual vlog style, but at the same time, we're just focusing on one task and we are redoing or finally finishing maybe my office. As you can see, the art here is gone. I gave it to a friend who actually really wanted it for his apartment. This little number, this little semicircle does not work on these walls. It does not today. It's constantly falling off. It was a great idea. Execution wasn't there. What today's gonna look like is first, we're gonna go to Ikea. I found the perfect shelves. I'll explain a little bit more in a second. So we're gonna go pick those up, but the closest one that had it is like 40 miles away. So it's 8.30 right now, and we're gonna leave and try to get there right at 10 when it opens to be able to fit this all in in one day. Then I ordered stuff for a gallery wall back here. So we're going to go ahead and do a gallery wall, and I am just so excited. Also, this is my first kind of vlog style video that my sweet, sweet editor Tara is editing. So I'm really excited for y'all to see this video. Let me know your thoughts. I can't wait. Let me explain the cabinets. Also, I haven't washed my hair in like four days, but it's not important. <laughs> so I got this cabinet when we moved and I love it, but I got it on sale and I would never, ever, ever be able to afford it full price. And <laughs> I need more storage in here. So in an ideal world, I would have gotten a second one of these, but I was on Instagram last night knowing I was gonna film this video today and I just wasn't gonna really address that wall today. But I was on Instagram last night and Taste Made Home posted these Ikea shelves that people usually use for greenhouses because it has glass on every side. And I was like, ooh, that's actually really cute. I Googled the dimensions. This is like an odd height. I don't know, maybe this is normal cabinet height. This is 61 inches tall. The Ikea cabinets are also 61 inches tall. <laughs> They're $89, so I got two one for either side. So this will be like more of a full wall of cabinets, but it will still look intentional because it will be like even, everything will be the same height. I am just so incredibly excited about it. I need to put on real clothes and then we have quite a road trip ahead of us and I haven't been inside of an Ikea, I don't think since over a year. So I'm excited to go see what they have and maybe find a couple little affordable decor pieces too. A quick little outfit of the day before we head out. This is linen utility shirt from Everlane. Curvy cheeky straight jeans, my favorite. Uh oh, wait, my shoes are Everlane too. I guess I'm just all Everlane today. <laughs> the modern loafers. And then this hair clip is from Anthropology, and all of my jewelry today, well, not my piercings, but my hoops and my necklace are both Anna Luisa. Okay, I just parked at Ikea. The drive wasn't bad, it was like 45 minutes, which is, is really good for almost 40 miles in LA. I have my trunk open and I'm at the click and collect. I think that they should just bring it out to my car. I've measured my trunk. My trunk is 73 inches long after I open it up and this box is 63 inches long. So I have 10 inches to spare. I was a little bit nervous about it, but as soon as we get this in the car, I'm gonna go park in a real spot and we will go inside. Oh, I'm so excited. Got the big boxes. It might be hard for me to build by myself today, but we can do it. I am going to bring in a big bag to bring my vlog camera because I feel like Ikea is iffy about filming, so I have to empty out all of my snacks from here. Oh, I made cookies and I brought a cookie. <laughs> Packing this all away. Let's go inside. Oh my gosh, look at all of these. I love these. I love these. I love these. A set of three is $12.99 of these. Those are $24.99. Okay, that means I'll go with the half priced ones. <laughs> so these are 49 cents. They're kind of cheap looking, but I was thinking about turning one of the top drawers in my office into like my everyday makeup storage. And I think these would fit really well. So since they're so cheap, I'm just gonna get a few of them to do that as a project. Not me getting distracted by bathrobes. If I owned a hotel, I would just come here for everything. Okay, I'm getting two of these to put on the bottom shelves of the cabinets we just bought to organize things, whether it's product or tech things, but that way they'll be matching. They're a little bit pricier than I expect. They're $14.99 each, but I think that hopefully they're not too tall and they will look good with the light caning of the cabinet that will be between them. I love this. I have no spot for it in my house, but I do want some more like warm lighting in my house. I don't need it. I'm not going to get it, but I love it. I am so surprised I found this real 
split leaf philodendron here at Ikea. I forgot to look at the price, but it's so cute. And I've been looking for these at a real nursery and haven't been able to find them. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I think my work here is done. I think it's time we go check out. Oh, right here, yay. I genuinely am so excited about this plant. It was actually on my to-do list today to maybe stop by our local nursery and look for this exact same plant because I think it'd be really pretty inside the glass shelves and people set up whole like greenhouses in the shelves that we got so I think it should do fine. Let's go home. Gonna be home by noon which is amazing. Try my best to build these shelves. I regret every time I buy something from Ikea that requires assembly <laughs> but si se puede. Let's do it. I'm excited. Okay I'm home. I'm a little bit sleepy, <laughs> but I have one of the two boxes in my office and I think our plan of action is going to be build these because I have no idea how long that's going to take. Gallery wall, decorate the shelves because they're glass so we have to style them and then organize the desk. I think that's the best plan of action. So with that being said, cue a montage of me trying to build something from Ikea and probably regretting it. Windows wide, the curtains fly to catch the evening breeze. Without you here to keep me warm, believe I'd rather freeze. Believe I'd rather freeze. <laughs> and how long can we walk that line between the sea and sand? How long can we bide our time for dreams we never planned? For dreams we never planned? When the sky said the winter time was coming on And you cried to see a shadow babe was growing long Cross along another song So I have them built. It wasn't as hard as some Ikea things I've built, but it took me two hours. So it wasn't easy for sure. But doesn't it look like, like it's almost meant to be one piece together? I was so excited to find those and that it worked out. Cause to double my storage cost me less than 200 bucks and I won't even, I won't even tell you what that thing, the middle thing goes for full price cause I would never. <laughs> ever buy that full price, I've got it really on sale. So now I'm definitely gonna make a coffee and then we need to tackle this wall. Then we can go through, I have a literal storage bin in the garage of both tech items and books. And I wanna try to fit as much as possible into probably the center cause those things won't be as cute. And then really style some more necessary things like cute books and maybe microphones. Those can be cute <laughs> and such in the glass cabinets, but coffee first. It's time for our gallery wall. And I have not looked at the art I ordered yet. I ordered this from an Etsy shop. This might be hard to get into with these gorgeous nails that we got done together. I wanted to quickly mention, I've talked about these before. These are the cheapest frames <laughs> and they're great. They look so good. They are from Michaels. I will link them down below. I've never ordered the small ones before and it looks like the small ones are real glass, which I'm always used to getting the large poster frames, which are like a plastic instead of a glass inside. I am going to do two large prints and two small prints. We'll play around with the layout, but I'm thinking large on either side and then small in the center like this, or maybe large, large, small, small. We'll have to play around with it, but let me open this and we'll take a look at the art. It's honestly been so long since I've ordered this that I don't quite remember what I ordered. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, cute branding. There's cute little stickers on this. Flower Love Child is the Etsy shop. I do remember one that I got because I can see it through here and I was so excited to find it. Ooh, okay, they're kind of twisted. So I hope that we can get them into the frames. Is this large card? It's the Ace of Hearts. My family's favorite activity to do together is play spades and just cards in general. If it's just two of us who play Jen, but this makes me think of them and I love it. I love how simple it is. It makes me so happy. 
And then the other large one I got, I loved these like prints of art, if that makes sense, where it has like the descriptor underneath it, who made it, where. And then the small ones are the same. So these are just very, very simple abstract to go in the small frames. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to start getting these into the frames and after I do, we will play around with the layout. Let me show you how good these look framed. There's one, there's two, there's three, and my favorite. I honestly did notice that this has the same Ace of Hearts gallery down at the bottom too. So they all have that, which is cool because it makes it a little more cohesive. These walls are so hard to nail through. It's like a weird plaster. It's not sheetrock. It feels like plastic. <laughs> so they're really hard to nail into. So I, I want to try to only do it once. <laughs> so this is our first option, option one. It's pretty symmetrical, which I don't know if I love super duper symmetry, but it does look really nice. Or in hindsight, this is pretty symmetrical too. <laughs> but I think I do like that better. This wall between the light switch is pretty, it's pretty narrow. And I feel like this arrangement is a bit more narrow. So it's gonna be hard to plan this out perfectly. I've always been the kind of person when it comes to pictures that I just kind of like eyeball it and go for it. It might not be very smart. I definitely do want to take down this thing. Oh, it's been killing me ever since I hung it up. So ready for it to be down. So let's, let's do that first. So I centered the little pictures above and below the big pictures, but I'm wondering if I should have lined up this corner of the frame with this corner of the frame. I'll wait for y'all's comments. <laughs> Does it look cool like this? Like a little bit abstracty, or should they be like super lined up? Gallery walls are hard. <laughs> Also, I want to say this room is probably a bit busier than I would do it if it wasn't a filming room. Like there's a lot going on on every wall. And so when you're in it, it kind of does feel like a lot going on. But my reasoning is I'm trying to think of this as more of a studio than an actual living office because every time I film, you pretty much only see one wall at a time. And now each wall has something interesting going on on it. So if I'm filming this way, there's at least something interesting in the background. If I'm filming this way, there's at least something interesting in the background. And eventually, the same with this way, after we decorate that, which we should do right now. Let me go grab all the different decor and tech stuff and we'll figure out what the heck to do. <laughs> okay, this is how my brain is working. I'm pulling anything and everything I could possibly use to style in here. I was trying out these baskets in this shelf. If I wanna like keep it more minimal and kind of have one blank shelf essentially that I could just stuff things in, but these also fit really nicely down here. And so I'll probably end up doing that unless I need like a Hail Mary to finish these shelves. I think that the books I want to keep, the colors are too mismatched to display so I'll probably put them away in the actual shelf. So I'm just going to probably cue a hyperlapse of me trying and moving things around in all the shelves until something makes sense. <laughs> These mics are kind of cool looking to have in the background of an office, but also something that I use, and so it's gonna be nice to have them handy and I'm thinking if I put them on a cute book. This was sent to me by Rochelle from Woman's Collective Box which was such a sweet little gift out of the blue. So I kind of just want to play around with things and see like if I put this in here and then stack maybe one off, one on. Call my number, call my name. Don't worry, I'll show you the shelves in the final reveal in a second. But I removed the books from this coffee table because it just looked too cluttered over here. Initially, they were there to give the lamp some height. This was a 
target lamp. I think I should probably look for just a taller, more statement lamp here so that it has the height without looking cluttered. My sweet friend gave me this anthropology candle as a housewarming gift though, and I do think that that would be really pretty here, especially with the taller lamp so they won't look so much the same size. I have memory cards everywhere, it's an issue. <laughs> Last thing is making my makeup drawer before we get to do the final review. Oh gosh, I hope these aren't too tall. <laughs> I was gonna say, quickly place these in here and see if they fit. Woohoo, they're not too tall. I didn't know how many I would need. Looks like, oh my word, fits like a glove. We have skin, so foundation and concealer. We have highlight and blush, powders, so setting powders and bronzer, tiny eyeshadow palettes, and then eyelashes and eyebrows. And then here is the stuff, I need to now organize this a little bit better, but the stuff I use a little less frequently, but still sometimes, I never really go into this drawer. Oh, there's some stuff I didn't know was in there. <laughs> Are you guys ready to see what we did? See how it all looks all together, especially inside these cabinets. I even organized inside the caned ones. So I'm just now realizing my flowers in here are very dead. I need to replace those, just ignore those. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming along on this little adventure with me. I love focus vlogs, love to know your thoughts on if you want more vlogs kind of like this, messy hair and all. I feel so happy with the way it turned out. Just a couple last little projects left and then we are done in here and I just feel so good about it. I love y'all with my absolute whole heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more, talking to you, here we go again, staying up all night to see if you've been texting me, where do we go from here?